Hello, welcome to our Chista.com, C-H-I-S-T-E-L-L.com YouTube channel. I am your host, author Denise Perney, and I'm the author of the books Love Pour Over Me, Portia, Spiral, Rosetta's Great Adventure, Long Walk Up, and Love Has Many Faces. And I'm currently working on a new book. Uh, the working title is God is Glory. I hope you will go out and get a copy of Love Pour Over Me, which is an ebook in print format. So what is today's Chisto.com YouTube session about? Today's session is about follow your writing instincts. This one is, you, you hear people say, I should have went with my first mind, or I should have just followed my instincts. And that's generally because they regret not doing so because something didn't turn out the way they thought it would. For those of us in the spiritual, we know don't walk by sight because what the way things look now when you make a decision might not be the way they continue to stay. We know everything changes in, in, in this world. So that applies to writing as well. I know uh, a freelance writer well, or novelist went on to become a New York Times bestselling a writer and the early in our careers we attended a, a conference in Philadelphia and she gave out some advice even then and I've heard other writers and I've met writers who've lost thousands of dollars some there would appear to be their entire life savings because they did not follow their instincts they didn't check in before they made a decision and there are people out here who will promise you everything if you pay them some money so they may tell you that they can take your book, your website, your blog, your social media account and get you hundreds of thousands of millions of followers. But when they finish, your reputation might be shredded. And I, I, I know of another writer who worked hard to get her career going. She was marketing left and right and she was getting gains. And then she met someone who told her they could get her even more at more games and she said it, it ended up ruining her reputation so she's now in the process of trying to rebuild her reputation so i like to share things here at our chisel.com youtube channel that can benefit you uh, we focus a lot on how to market whether it's radio marketing television blogs social media your website how to get out there uh, upcoming writing events conferences connect with literary agents editors and publishers but this YouTube session on follow your writing instincts is equally as important uh, because this one might not help make you, it could, uh, thousands or millions of dollars, but it can sure save you from losing uh, hundreds, thousands or millions of dollars. And it could also save you from having your reputation shredded and then you have to go back and rebuild it. Uh, so here's some examples. If a publisher uh, comes out to you or a literary agent and they request that you send them money so that they can read the first chapters of your book or they, they'll tell, they may tell you like a literary agent may tell you that this is just their fee and it covers their copying expenses, any, any, any mailing expenses they have to mail your manuscript to publishers, which we now know a lot of that's done digitally. I would tell you follow your instincts and st step back. If, if if somebody asks you for money before you've uh, they've done any work for you, most literary agents will ask you for a percentage of your sale, and that generally ranges from 10 to 15 percent. At the highest, might be 20 percent. But I, I wouldn't go down that road unless they got me a multi-million dollar book deal. But that 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 because the publisher is going to take their cut. The, the distributor is going to get their cut and by the time you get finished depending on what you gave your literary agent you might only end up with five to ten percent and you did all the work you're the one who created the book so be smart trust your instincts if a contract when you when you sign a contract whether it's with a literary agent or a publisher find out who all is getting the cut out of the out of the gross the gross uh, and a lot of people don't do that in the arts and they think well the literary agent i have to pay them 15 20 percent they're not the only one getting a cut that's just one piece of it then the publisher is going to take a piece so the literary agent the publisher the bookstore the book distributor and a lot of book distributors off the top take anywhere from 40 to 55 percent so you're getting your little piece getting smaller and smaller and smaller <laughs> so I, again i encourage you follow your writing instincts handle this as it's a business because the creative side comes with writing the book 
after that it's 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 the business side you're gonna have to put your business hat on because you don't want to spend 10 to 20 years writing even what are great novels but because you didn't have good contracts you didn't follow your writer instincts you didn't do your research you didn't have good contracts and somebody else is getting rich off of your work and you just you're getting a couple of hundred dollars a month and somebody else is getting several thousand or more a month off the work that you created um also um one other thing signs that a a, a client is setting up not to pay you or they're, they're stalling to pay you if you are whether you are a novel or nonfiction book writer or freelance writer and you keep getting reasons why you know um, somebody left the firm they don't know how to do it they don't they 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 haven't this is their first time paying somebody directly you used to go through Susie Susie's not here anymore um, we're, go, we, 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 we're, we're going on the road we've got some um, some uh, road work we're doing we get back from doing the road work and then when they get back from the road work well you know this happened and it just keeps stalling or as a freelance writer you're you're continuously asked can you write another sample for us we just want to make sure that you're a good fit or um um could you edit this could you add this to it uh, could you add some more references could you do a few more interviews and then we'll pay you we thank you for your patience uh, no, one of the ways I would say, as far as following your writing instincts, would would your landlord accept that? Would your landlord accept excuses when you say, "This is why I can't pay the rent on time"? Would the bank accept those excuses? This is why I can't pay my mortgage on time, or your insurance company, or the car place, bank financial services where you got your car loan? Excuses, excuses, excuses. Generally, the people that we stall when it comes to money. Are our friends or people that we think don't have any legal rights or they won't push them we, we don't do that so much when we are on our mortgage we don't tell them all these different excuses so respect yourself follow your writer instincts and know when somebody is stalling and press them and if you have a contract you should be able to do that and, it, and hopefully you won't have to go to small claims court but if you do I would first look out to see if this has happened to other writers with this client or this vendor and you can you can uh, go to small claims court with several writers which could give you a little bit more strength in in court but hopefully that doesn't come that day will never come for you hopefully if you follow your writers instincts don't just go for the first deal that comes along you can get a good deal um, rogue writing contracts so that's another thing to look out for that's not just in the music industry and I just started off uh, this chisel.com YouTube session by telling you you can't just look at the one person who's taking a cut you want to know everybody on the table who's taking a piece of the pie of your pie and so what how big of a slice are you gonna get <laughs> when they all take that cut you might end up with just a few crumbs so make sure you you have a good contract so you, you're gonna get paid something and, and but it is not just crumbs or they tell you you they the expenses for your book tour you think they're picking up the cost and then you later find out no that was on you so just be very clear about the contract everything in it I would rather that you know you 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 got good deals you got good contracts you negotiated you came with a a, a very experienced solid entertainment attorney they they knew they know the ins and outs of a good contract and, and a role contract when they see one you don't go in there talking law with somebody when you don't understand law as well as they do so you go in there equipped and you follow your writer instincts it might sound really great right now but ew, come back and bite me in a couple of years again people stalling to pay you get a good contract sign a contract with anybody you work with I, and I would also encourage you to look out when people ask you to send them samples as a freelance writer if you have a portfolio just tell them here's my portfolio URL here are some samples of content I've already created you can see my style you can see that depth of my work here I'm not doing free work for you that you can post on your website or edit and repurpose and never pay me so those are things to look out for as a writer there are a lot of great things 
I would say, in store for anybody, you, anybody who wants to write. But you're going to have to put on a good business mind uh, as well, even even to accompany and complement your creative mind. So I hope you pay attention to those uh, and, and, and pay attention to your writer's instincts. Pay attention to your writer's instincts. You can, I encourage you to share some of your experiences when you didn't do that and we, you wish you had because so others can learn from them as well and times when you did pay attention to your writer's instincts and it paid off you can post them here in our chistel c-h-i-s-t-e-l-l.com our youtube channel and again i encourage you to go get out and get a copy it's an ebook or print of my new book love pour over me by denise turney i'll see you back here at chistel.com for another session bye for now remember you're incredible you're awesome yeah, you're absolutely amazing. Thank you for being here with us.